Hello. One of my students asked me how I would paint the same painting that she did, and she provided me with a reference photo. So let's look at the painting and let's look at the photo, and uh, I'll tell you what I would do. Well, looking at the uh, photograph, first thing I do is notice which things I like, which things are appealing about it. Well, the first thing is I like the, the stair step shape of the shadow. I think that's very charming. And I would definitely want to keep that into the final painting. Um, I notice that the sky and the um, dirt are complementary. I'm always looking for that. And um, the other thing was the, um, the steep diagonal of the hillside. Uh, this, this photograph has a lot of great diagonals, which have a lot of energy, uh, way more energy than things that are horizontal or vertical. So those are the things that come right to mind. Now the next thing I do is um, try to figure out the focal point. So I look around the painting to decide what the focal point is, and uh, my eye will go to wherever there's a high contrast. In this case, it's the upper right corner where the horizon is dark and the sky is very light, and there's a somewhat hard edge there. So that's attracting my eye. If that's not what the painting is about, if that's not where I wanted people to look, what else could I do? Well, I could um, decrease the contrast there, soften the edge if I need to, if it's still drawing me, and put some darks around where I want people to look, or hopefully there will be some darks where I want people to look. So referring back to the paint, uh, to the photograph, I noticed that the, uh, the shadow, that stair-steppy shadow that I mentioned before, is a great lead-in and it takes me down to the lower right. And then I go behind the tree and I see that there's a nice contrast between those cactus, yellow cactus pads and the, con and the shadow underneath it. So I think that's where I'd put my focal point. It's, it's naturally that way. And also that yellow isn't anywhere else in the uh, photograph. So it makes it a little more special and more of a reward to the viewer when they get there. Um, so that's what, where I'd make my focal point. Um, I also have the shadow continue off to the right, which gives another uh, entrance into the painting. The eye will start on the edge and follow a path of either light or dark into the painting. Um, so that's something that I like to do is connect my shadow shapes or my darks to the edge. Then another thing that I would do is to make more space in this painting uh, is I always draw like a imaginary line and beyond that it's far away. So I divide close from far. And anything that's beyond this line, I let it um, be more of a middle value, be more neutral color, and bluer, and also softer. Softer helps too. So even though when I look at the photograph, they really look to be the same color, the shrubs that are far and the ones that are close, I'm gonna paint it differently because I know it'll make a better painting. I also changed the um, horizon a little bit uh, to make it more uh, of an angle like I saw in the, in the photo. And uh, I'm, I emphasized the blue in the sky a little bit more just to make it uh, sing with complementary color. So that's what I would do. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button. Thanks.